Welcome to Hacking Arcade ROMs, Lesson 2, Decimal, Hex, and Binary. In this lesson, we're going to understand what the hexadecimal number system is, the decimal number system, and the binary number system. It's very important you are able to understand what these number systems are and convert between them because the computer does not use the number system we're used to, which is decimal. It uses binary. And binary is too unwieldy for us humans to really deal with easily. So we use an intermediate number system called hex. And if you want to hack ROMs or deal with anything low level on a CPU, you have to be able to deal in binary and hex. In this section, we are going to get an introduction to the binary and hexadecimal number system. Computers work on electricity. And therefore, they only understand two electrical concepts, high or on, and low or off. Because of this, computers must represent all things via combination of high and low values. Additionally, all a CPU can really do is move numbers around, perform math on numbers, and branch or make decisions based on the results of numerical computations. But again, keep in mind, computers can only manipulate electrical signals in two states, high or low, at least digital computers. But other kinds of computers like quantum computers are well beyond the scope of this discussion. Luckily, any number can be represented as a series of high, one, or low, zero, values called binary or base two. Base two only has two different digits, one and zero. But as I mentioned before, any number can be represented as a series of binary digits. For example, the decimal or base 10 number five that we know as the number five can be represented by the binary number 101. Now, binary numbers are great and computers use them to store and manipulate numbers. But for humans, binary numbers are just too unwieldy. They're too big and, and, and hard to, they're hard for us to deal with. For example, the number 10,000 that we're familiar with in decimal is represented in binary as that. And as the number gets bigger, the number of binary digits gets longer and longer and longer, and it becomes very unwieldy. So for that reason, when dealing with a low level um, system, the computer or debugger, humans use a more compact form of numerical representation called hexadecimal, or hex for short, or base 16. There are 16 fundamental digits in base 16 as opposed to the two in binary. There's the zero through nine that we're familiar with, with in decimal or base 10. The number system we use is called base 10. There's 10 digits, or it's also called decimal. And in addition to the number zero through nine or the digit zero through nine, there's A through F. Um, that actually gives us 16 different possible combinations for any digit place in, in base 16, which is why it's called base 16, because there's 16 different combinations. Luckily, converting a number between binary and hex is very, very easy. To convert numbers from binary to hex, all you have to do is break the binary number into chunks of four digits or four bits each binary digit is called a bit, starting from the right and moving to the left. And then for each group of four bits, there is exactly one hex number that can represent it. So you simply break things into groups of four bits, and if, if you have a, uh, when you're making the number, if there's not enough digits to make four bits, you just add zeros to the left until you have exactly four. So you replace each group of four bits with a hex number, and then combine all the hex numbers together. And then when you combine it together, we generally prepend it with a zero x to note that it's hex as opposed to decimal, because um, sometimes it's hard to tell a hex number from a decimal number if you don't have any of the weird, you know, the a through f's in there. 
So here's the chart of binary to hex. You see there's 16 different combinations. And for every four bits of binary information, for every combination there is of zeros and ones, there's exactly one hex digit that represents it. So if we had this number 11000101 in binary and we wanted to turn that into a hex number, all we have to do is break it into four, two parts of four digits, which is C and five, and then squish them together and add the zero X to let us know that it's hex. If you want to convert hex to binary, just do the opposite. Write out the hex number, and for every hex digit, replace it with the corresponding four binary digits. So if we had C5 in hex, and we want to turn that to binary, strip off the OX, split up the C and the five, convert them to binary, and shove them together. So it's very easy to convert from hex to binary and binary to hex. Ultimately, we need to understand how to convert from binary and hex to the number system we use, decimal, and from decimal back to binary and hex, which is the next thing I'm going to explain. In this section, we're going to learn to convert from decimal to binary and hex and back. As we mentioned before, humans use decimal, which is called base 10. It's called base 10 because there are 10 different digits. And as you create a number, you write digits down, and as you go from left to right, the place value of each digit increases by 10 times. For example, take the number 251. You have 251 here. The one is in the ones place, or one times 10 to the zeroth. The five is in the tens place, or five times 10 to the first power, which is 50. The two is in the hundredths place. So this holds the value of 200, or two times 10 to the second power. The total value of the number 251 is the addition of the value of each of the place numbers. The ones place, one, the tens place, 50, and the hundreds place, 200. One plus 50 plus 200 gives you 251. Hex, or base 16, each digit can be one of 16 different values, zero through f. So as you go from left to right, the place value, rather than increasing by 10, increases by 16 times. For example, the number 0x251 first place value is 16 to the power of 0, which is 1. And you have a 1 in the 1's place. The next place value is 16 to the power of 1, which is 16. So you have a 5 in the 16th place. So the actual value in decimal is 5 times 16. The third place is the 256th place, which is 16 to the power of two. So here you have two in the 256th place, which makes the actual decimal value two times 256. You can see as each place goes from right to left, the value of that place increases by 16 times. One, then 16, then 256. You can convert this hex number to a decimal value by adding up each of the individual digits and their place values. So you have one in the ones place, which is one, five in the 16th place, which is 80, and two in the 256th places, which is 512. Add them all together and you get the decimal 593. Let's try another example, the hex number 15. You have in the 16 to the zero place, or the ones place, five. And you have in the 16 to the one place, or the 16th place, a one. That math simplifies 
to 1 times 16 plus 5 times 1, which again simplifies even more to 16 plus 5, or 21. Let's do one more example, the hex number 36. In the 16th to the zeros place, or ones place, you have 6. In the 16th to the ones place, or the 16th place, you have 3, which simplifies to 3 plus 16 times 6 times 1, which simplifies to 48 plus 6, or 54 decimal. Here is a chart that shows you how to easily convert from hex digits to decimal digits. The hex and decimal digits 0 through 9 are exactly the same. After 9, the hex digit A is equal to decimal 10, B to decimal 11, C to decimal 12, D to decimal 13, E to decimal 14, and F to decimal 15. So let's try a number that uses one of these higher hex decimal digits, 2B. The place 16 to the power 0, or the 1's place, has B. The place 16 to the power 1, or the 1's place, has 2. Remember, B is equal to 11, so we have 11 times 1 plus 2 times 16, which is equivalent to 32 plus 11, which is 43 decimal. Try this next one on your own. And finally, this one. Converting from hex to decimal is not bad, but converting from decimal to hex is a little harder. Instead of multiplying by increasing powers of 16, we divide our decimal numbers by decreasing powers of 16 to determine our place values. The first thing to do is to determine a few place values. In hex, the first place, starting from the right and moving left, is 1. Then each additional place, moving left, is 16 times the previous value. So place 1 is 1. Place 2 is 16. Place 3 is 256. Place 4 is 4096. Place 5 is 65,536. To convert a number from decimal to hex, we take the whole decimal number and find the highest power of 16 that can go into that decimal number. For example, if we had the number 4,097, the highest power of 16 that can go into that is 4,096. Then you take that number, in this case 1, and write down that down in the 4,096 place. And then take the remainder, which in this case is also 1, and then find the highest power of 16 that can divide that, and put however many times it can go into that in that place. Let's do some examples. Let's take the number 2050 and figure out what that is in hex. The highest power of 16 that goes into 2050 is 16 to the second, or the 256, which is the third place. It goes into that number eight times with a remainder of 2. So write down the 8 for the third place and bring down the 2. Now we have to figure out what power of 16 goes into 2. And two, 16 to the first, or the 16th place, or the second column, doesn't go into it at all, so we put a 0 there. Bring down the remaining 2, and the last power of 16 that is left is 1. And 1 goes into 2 twice. So write down 2. Now prepend the 0 and x to denote that it's a hexadecimal number. Now try this last one on your own. Convert decimal 2,343 to hex. Ultimately, it's good if you can do this 
math from um, decimal to hex to, to binary and binary to hex and binary to decimal and hex to decimal by yourself. But if you ever get stuck, you can use a calculator. Just go to, for example, decimal, type in your number like, I don't know, 2043 or 2034, and then click on, if you want to convert to binary, binary, or if you want to convert to hex, click hex. Hit clear. If you have a hex number you want to enter, you can type, you know, for example, FF, FF. That's a valid hex number that you'll actually see a lot. And you can see actually it shows up here as decimal. You can click decimal. You can see the binary equivalent. So make sure that your calculator is on the programmer setting. Now, you should be able to convert from binary to hex and hex to binary, and from either of those to decimal. Remember, hex to binary is easy. It's a simple lookup table. You just split your binary number into groups of four and look that up to the hex digit, or take the hex digit and turn that into four binary bits. Um, but the math for turning things to decimal is a little more difficult. But you now have the skills. It's a good thing to practice them because you're going to actually be dealing with hex numbers a lot, and you're going to have to be able to convert them from decimal to um, binary and hex and, and, and back and forth. Again, though, use your calculator if you ever, ever have any questions or to double-check your work.